Hello everyone, it's lovely to see you here. Well done on creating some excellent plans yesterday for your persuasive letter. Today we're going to use those plans to write the beginning part of that letter, the opening paragraph. So make sure you've got a pencil, a piece of paper and your plan ready and then we can get started. So what features do we need to include in our writing today? What goes into our first paragraph of our persuasive letter? Well, we can use the original letter to help us and you can see it on the screen here. So let's have a look through and see what we can spot. Well, the very first thing I can see on the screen is that it says, Dear Education Minister. OK, and that's the person we're writing to. So we're addressing the reader. So we must include that in our writing today. The next sentence um, says, I'm writing to tell you how disgusted I am that Crazy Creatures takes animals into school. Well, that's the reason that the writer has made the letter. So we're going to need to do that too and give our reason for writing. Then we have the sentence which says, uh, would you want an eight-legged critter in your house? Now that is our rhetorical question. So we'll need to remember to put ours in there too. There is also lots of emotive language in that first paragraph. Words like disgusted, um, beastly to describe the bugs, the fact it's horrid, the spiders are very ugly and they shouldn't be allowed anywhere near people. So we too will need to make sure that we include our descriptive language to make the reader aware of how we feel. Here is my plan for the letter. You'll see I've marked the boxes that we're going to need to use today to complete the first paragraph. See if you can find these boxes on your plan now. Here is an example of the letter we're going to write today. Pause the video here and see if you can spot all the features. Check your ideas with the answers here on the screen. Did you find all the features? I'm going to use my plan here and the success criteria on the previous screen to help me write the opening paragraph of my persuasive letter. I'm going to show you how to write the opening paragraph of the persuasive letter using my plan and then it will be your turn. So the first thing I've done is I've got my date and my learning objective. And I'm going to think about my success criteria that I'm going to need to do today. I'm going to need to start with addressing the reader. So I need to say who I'm writing to. So I'm going to put Dear Education Minister. And I'm going to use capital E and a capital M because that's his title. I'm going to put a comma afterwards there okay then i need to tell him why i'm writing now i'm writing to persuade them to uh keep crazy creatures open so i shall say i am writing to persuade you now this sentence that I'm writing here is actually on my plan in the top right hand box so you will need to find your sentence there as well so I'm writing to persuade you to keep crazy creatures open and able to visit schools. Okay, so I've addressed the reader. I've said why I'm writing. I now need to start being persuasive. I think I should use my uh, rhetorical question. And on my plan, it says, who wouldn't want to learn about interesting insects and slithery snakes? So that will go next. Who wouldn't want to learn about interesting? Oh, actually, I might up-level that word interesting. I think I might say in 
intelligent insects. That sounds a bit more exciting, doesn't it? Um, a bit more emotive. Intelligent insects and slithery snakes. There we go. Perfect. Happy with that. Okay. Oh, it's a question, isn't it? So I need a question mark. Don't forget your question mark. Okay, now we've done that. I need to say how I know about crazy creatures. Well, we know about crazy creatures because they visited us in school, didn't they? So I can say crazy creatures recently visited us uh, in year four. at Kingsley Primary School. Okay, um, and what did they bring? Uh, well, I know this, 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 this bit here isn't actually on our plan, but we can actually remember this. So um, let's think. What did they bring? They brought some lots of lots of interesting animals. Maybe I could use an emotive word from that section of my plan. Let's have a look. Or oh, I know, um, I'm going to say with um, an extraordinary variety. I'm going to use that word extraordinary for my plan. And I think I might use the word astonishing as well. An extraordinary variety of astonishing creatures. There we go. And what else do I need to include? I need to include... Um, Oh, how I feel as well, don't I? So I need to say, uh, firstly, it was marvellous. I'm going to use that from my emotive word box. I'm going to put an exclamation mark. And then I'm going to finish my paragraph with saying how I will feel if Crazy Creatures closes down. Now, I think I'll be very sad, but that's a bit boring, isn't it? So how about if I said, oh, I know, devastated. That would be a bit more dramatic, wouldn't it? I would feel devastated if... Crazy creatures closed down. And there we have my opening paragraph of my letter. Now it's your turn to write the opening paragraph of your letter using your plan. Challenge one is to use your plan to complete a closed procedure for the first section. You'll find the resources for this attached to the website. Challenge two, use your plan to write the first section of your letter. And we've put some sentence starters on the website for you to help you if you need them. Challenge three is to use your plan to write the first section of your letter. You can choose your own sentence starters if you want to. Remember to check your writing for missing punctuation. You'll also see on this screen the success criteria to remind you of all the different things that you need to include in the first paragraph of your letter. These are the support sheets that you will be able to find on the website. Well done everyone, I hope you've enjoyed the activity today. I'm really looking forward to reading the opening paragraphs of your letters later on. Well done and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.